Today I'm going to show you how to get every single obtainable item from the arena before they are gone for good. Okay, first of all, March 10th, arena servers go offline. After that, all of these rewards are unobtainable forever. Just to be clear, if it's after March 10th, 2022, this video is no longer accurate and this game mode does not even exist anymore. Okay. If you want a little more information on the server shutdown and everything, link in the description to my video talking about that. Okay, first of all, there are quite a few arena cosmetics. We'll run through them all quickly so you know what they look like and everything, and then we'll get to how to get them. The very first thing is the Glorious Sea Dog set. This is an entire clothing set, entire weapon set, entire equipment set, and entire ship set. There are quite a few pieces to this set, and this is going to be the easiest of the rewards to get. Next is the Triumphant Sea Dog set. Exact same thing, just different colors. This one's blue and silver instead of red and gold. Again, full equipment, full clothing, full ship, full weapons. All of it. Also, quick heads up, I don't have all the Triumphant Sea Dog stuff yet, so I can't display all of it, but no. Next will be the titles. There are many, many titles in the arena that you can get. There are about 15 from Commendations and then 10 more from Reputation levels. I'm not going to go through those yet because there is a lot and it will take up a lot of time, but there are quite a few and I'll get to them. And then the final thing or things is the legendary weapon set, which consists of the four weapons, legendary looking, obviously, and the victorious sea dog blunderbuss, which is kind of an outlier, but you get them all at the same time, so I'm grouping them together. I also have literally none of these, so if you want to look at any of them, I'll leave a link in the description to a great video that shows them all off. You know, those are all the rewards that you could expect to get from this guide. Uh, now let's get into it. Okay, first of all, the arena basics, the very basics of the mode you're about to compete in. Okay, first of all, from the menu, it's in the bottom right here, it's arena. Now, one of the primary things with this is you cannot do it solo. To do sloop, you have to have two people, and to do galley, you have to have three or four people. Can't do it in half groups. Just So you're going to need someone else to do this with. I also suggest doing sloop because galleon, I just, I don't like <laughs> galleon. Uh, I find it less fun. And it's a lot harder to work as a team, especially if you're playing with people you don't know. Also, if you are struggling to find people, the Sea of Thieves official Discord has a arena mode looking for crew. That's what this chat is. Uh, you can go in there and ask people to help you do arena stuff. I'm not going to explain that too in depth, but yeah. Now, once you're actually in the game, you'll be set in this tavern for a little bit. There's a few things you can do here, which relate to commendations, we'll get to those in a second. You can talk to the facts and representatives, they're down here, and that's where you'll buy your promotions. Now, after a while, you'll start to hear music, and then the text in the top left will change to the next contest is about to begin, cruise to your ships, or like sharpen your swords or something. If it switches to that, it means the game is about to start. Then you'll get a black screen after a little bit. Sometimes this can take a while because you have to wait till every single player loads, but after a little bit, you'll be teleported onto a ship. You're going to want to raise your caps in and drop sails as fast as you can, and then grab all your supplies from your barrels. Now, once you're actually in the game, your objective is to collect silver. In the top right, you can see your silver score. How much silver you have will be beside your icon. By the way, your icon will be highlighted with this little rim, and it will be the same as your ship. If you notice, your ship will be bright green, and then your green team. Now, the objective is to have the most silver at the end of this 15-minute timer, just above the scoreboard here. Silver can be obtained a variety of ways. First one would be to kill other players. It gives you five silver when you kill them and five more silver when they respawn. Hitting an enemy ship with a cannonball will give you 40 silver. Digging up a chest will give you 150 silver. If you look around, you'll see this big purple beacon that indicates a chest. It'll be buried at the start. Once someone digs it up, they'll get 150 silver. Then if you sell that chest to one of the representatives on these big brown boats, with the red flares. The representative will either be on the front or the back in the captain's quarters. If you take the chest and sell it to them, you'll get a thousand silver. Be extra cautious here though, because sometimes people camp the vendors and prevent you from selling. You also have to hold down the sell button for a second or two, which can be a problem sometimes. And the final way of adjusting silver is if your ship sinks, you will lose a thousand silver. And then at the end of the 15 minute timer, you'll be presented with a screen like this that shows your rankings and who had the most silver. Then you get a black screen. Again, you wait, you have to wait till all the players load, and then be back in the tavern to wait for your next game. Now, you may be wondering what you can do while you wait in the taverns. Well, you can go up to this NPC named DeMarco and buy promotions from him. 
What are promotions? Well, every five levels with the faction, you'll be able to buy a promotion from DeMarco. Each promotion will cost you a little bit of gold, get you a title, and allow you to buy the next level of one of the weapons, either the Sea Dog Cutlass or the Sea Dog Blunderbuss. These slowly level up to look cooler and cooler as you progress. Also, at certain increments, the shipwright will allow you to buy pieces of the Glorious Sea Dog ship set. So, at level five, you can buy the Arena Pup promotion, and get the first level of your cutlass, and you'll be able to buy the Glorious Sea Dog Sails. At 10, you'll get Arena Mutt, you'll be able to buy the first level of your Blunderbuss, and be able to buy the Glorious Sea Dog Hull. 15 is Arena Terrier, you'll get the next level of your cutlass. 20 is Arena Fox, you get the next level of your Blunderbuss, and the Glorious Sea Dog Captain. 25 is Arena Hound, you'll be able to get your next level of cutlass. 30 is Arena Bulldog, You'll be able to get your next blunderbuss and the glory seed of wheel at 35 you'll get arena jackal and the next level of your cutlass 40 you'll get arena coyote and the next level of your blunderbuss along with the glory seed cannons at 45 you'll be able to get arena wolf and the notorious sea dog cutlass this is the max grade and at 50 you'll get master of the arena and you'll be able to get the legendary sea dog blunderbuss and the glorious sea dog figurehead now that is everything you'll get from the reputation and promotions itself. Everything else is from the commendations, which we're about to get to. Now we're going to get into the commendations themselves. And for the commendations, if you want to track any of them in-game, go into your menu, Pirate Log, Reputations, Sea Dogs. All the commendations are in here, they're in roughly the order I mentioned them in. Every original commendation comes with a title under the same name. So we'll start with all of those. Some of them also allow you to purchase items from the normal vendors. So we'll start with the originals. For Sharpshooting Sea Dog, you have to kill 200 players in the arena with a flintlock. This will allow you to purchase the Glorious Sea Dog flintlock. Also, just as a quick note for the kill combinations, the player has to respawn for the kill to count. So just be careful of that. Swashbuckling Sea Dog, kill 200 people with a cutlass in arena. Deadeye Sea Dog, kill 200 people with an Eye of Reach in the arena. This will let you buy the Glorious Sea Dog Eye of Reach. High Caliber Sea Dog, kill 200 people with a Blunderbuss in the arena. Iron Sea Dog, kill 200 people with a Cannon in the arena. Master of Arms, kill 200 people in the arena. Seeker of Silvered Loot, dig up 100 chests in the arena. Treacherous Sea Dog, deliver 50 stolen chests in the arena. By the way, stolen means another crew dug it up and you sold it. Keeper of Silvered Loot, earn 300,000 silver in the arena. Sailor of Silvered Waters, complete 200 competitions in the arena. Next is Captain of Silvered Waters, place in the top three in 100 contests in the arena. This one will allow you to buy pretty much all of the Glorious Sea Dog clothing, just all of it. Next is Master of Silvered Waters, place first in 100 contests in the arena. And now we're done with the classic arena commendations, so all the other ones are arena version two, which means they won't award titles. There are a few more titles, but we'll get to them. Also, the Glorious Sea Dog equipment can be purchased for free. You don't need any commendation. Now, I believe that is all of the Glorious Sea Dog stuff down. Now we're going to get to the little bit more tricky stuff, the Triumphant Sea Dog. Okay, the first one is a toast to the Sea Dogs. You need to raise your Glorious Sea Dog tankard with three other people in the Sea Dog hot tub. To be clear, all four people in the hot tub must raise their tankard only the person who wants the commendation has to have the glorious sea dog tankard. This commendation will allow you to buy the triumphant sea dog tankard and bucket. Next is a musical sea dog. Play a shanty with three other pirates on the stage in the glorious sea dog tavern using a glorious sea dog instrument. Again, same thing applies. Only the person who wants the commendation has to use the triumphant sea dog item. And after you get this combination, you'll be able to buy all four triumphant instruments and the speaking trumpet. Easiest way to get these two is to just play galleon with a crew and then get them all to help you out. Okay, next we have the skilled commendations. These are all exactly the same. I'll explain one and then it's just the same thing for the other three. So, skilled sharpshooting sea dog requires you to kill 100 people with the glorious sea dog flintlock in the arena. If you do that, you will then be able to buy the triumphant sea dog flintlock. Skilled dead eye sea dog is the same, but with the eye of reach. Skilled swashbuckling sea dog is the same, but with the notorious sea dog cutlass. And skilled high caliber sea dog is the same, but with the legendary sea dog blunderbuss. To be clear, you do have to have the max rank of Cutlass and Blunderbuss. Next is Sea Dog Seeker. This requires you to dig up 100 chests with the Glorious Sea Dog Shovel in either Adventure or Arena. I would highly recommend just equipping this shovel and then just keep it on you until you get this. Now, you need to dig up 100 chests for all of them, but each grade awards a different thing. 5 chests will get you the Pocket Watch, 10 will get you the Compass, 30 will get you the Spyglass, 50 will get you the Lantern, and 100 will get you the Shovel. Next is Dedicated Sea Dog. This requires you to play 200 games total while wearing at least five pieces of the glorious sea dog clothing basically just throw on a few pieces of glorious sea dog stuff i use six just to be 100 percent sure i'm getting it 
From various increments of this combination, you'll be able to buy different triumphant items. Five games played will get you the belt, 10 will get you the peg leg, 50 will get you the boots, 100 will get you the trousers, and 200 will get you the eye patch. By the way, if you don't like how the glorious Sea Dog stuff looks, you can throw a costume over it and it'll still count. Next is Professional Sea Dog. This is the same thing, except you have to win 100 competitions instead of just playing them. You have to win them. Three contests will get you the triumphant gloves, 10 will get you the hook, 25 will get you the jacket, 50 will get you the dress, and 100 will get you the hat. Next is Sea Dog Cannoneer. This requires you to hit ships or players with 2,000 cannonballs from the glorious Sea Dog cannons in either adventure or arena. So again, same thing, just whenever you're playing, equip the glorious Sea Dog cannons until you get this. Grade five, which is 2,000 hits, will allow you to get the triumphant Sea Dog cannons. Next is Sea Dog Sailor. Play 200 contests where you have the glorious Sea Dog figurehead, anchor, wheel, and cannons equipped in the arena. This is basically the same as the wear glorious Sea Dog clothing in the arena, you just have to use the ship set. So again, just play 200 contests with this. Also for this one, you don't even need to have the ship set as long as whoever you're playing with equips it. It counts even if you don't own the set. After you play five, you'll be able to buy the triumphant flag. 50, you'll be able to buy the triumphant sails. 200, the triumphant Sea Dog Hall. Next is Sea Dog Captain. This is basically the same thing. Win 100 games with the glorious Sea Dog ship cosmetics equipped. Three wins will get you the capstan, 25, the wheel, and 100, the figurehead. Now that is the entire triumphant Sea Dog set. Time for the last two titles. Glorious Sea Dog requires you to win a contest where you own every single Glorious Sea Dog item. This will award you the title of Glorious Sea Dog. Basically the same for Triumphant Sea Dog. You have to win a contest where you own all the Triumphant Sea Dog items and you get the title Triumphant Sea Dog. Okay, now we are on to the very last set of items, the Legendary Weapons. The most painful and time consuming out of every arena reward. Okay, first things first. There's five items here. The Legendary Flintlock, Blunderbuss, Eye of Reach, Cutlass, and the Victorious Sea Dog Blunderbuss. The Legendary 4 can be purchased from Legendary Luke in the Pirate Legend Hideout, but are locked behind a commendation. This commendation is Legendary Sea Dog. This is an Athena commendation, and it requires you to win 240 games of Arena as a Pirate Legend. That is 60 hours of games. 60 hours of winning games. So it will take you 60 hours from 0 to 240, Assuming you load instantaneously, you never take any breaks, and you never lose. <laughs> Which is already a lot, so I would expect to take double or triple that. So, this one is time consuming. This one is really, really, really time consuming. So if you want to go for it, you can, but I just want to make abundantly clear how much of a time sink this is. So I just, I want to make sure you are prepared. For if you go for this, how long it will take. It is a time commitment if you want this. Now, once you get the commendation itself, you will also be awarded the victorious Sea Dog Blunderbuss, just in your inventory by default. You get that within 72 hours of completing the commendation. If you don't open a support ticket. And you will also get the legendary Sea Dog title. I believe, I'm like 95% sure that is every single arena reward, period. That is currently obtainable anyway. Now, if you have any questions, you leave them in the comments. I'll try and send them as soon as possible. Again, if you would like to know what's happening with Arena, I'll leave a link in the description to my to my end of Arena video. And um, yeah. Also, quickly, if you found this video helpful, if you would consider leaving a like, helps with the algorithm greatly, and it helps show other people that this is a good guide. And also, if you would consider subscribing, as subscribing to my channel is a great way to help the channel, and it should also help you get some cool rare things and see if these, as I make weekly guides on how to get cool cosmetics, and also guides for all the time-limited stuff as well. Good luck on your endeavor to get whatever rewards you want out of the arena, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week.